There you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor, hit the like, hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in, buckle in, and let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? And man, oh man. So we're going through the news feed, and we've seen all these celebrities, especially the ones that are from California. The liberals, the the progressive, all of you that have voted Democrat are now seeing the light. We have fitness star Julia Michaels. She caught an epiphany. And let's take a look. I grew up here. I'm a woman. I'm a gay woman. My mom's a Jew. My dad's an Arab. I have a black kid. And believe it or not, my son is half Latin, even though he doesn't look like it. I hold a million cards in your game of woke victimology poker. And when I leave California, maybe you've lost your mind. Just maybe. Like, when you, when you have me running from home, home. maybe it's gone way too far. I actually take this, this line from Bill and um, Elon Musk. And they're like, I actually haven't changed. Yes. The world around me is shifting and I haven't moved. So some of these laws that are passing here are absolutely mind boggling mm -hmm. in relation to crime, protecting our kids. Like we're decriminalizing everything, which arguably I would probably be okay with, but we're not regulating any of it. Right. I, I mean, I could be liberal. I could go there with you, but it, yeah, I, I grew up this way. But when it's like, oh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pass a law for LGBTQ rights so that 24-year-old men can sleep with 14-year-old boys and not have to register as a sex offender because it's just not fair to the gays. I'm like, I'm, what? It's what? Like, I don't know if you saw that one. That was like, I think early 2020 when they passed yeah. that law. Mm -hmm. And it's, so I was like, if a 24 year old man touches my 14 year old son, oh, I, I will get a gun and yes. take matters into my own hands. Yes. Like, are you kidding? Or the fact that a 12 year old child can be put on off label cancer drugs. Mm -hmm to irreparably change their body. Again, if my son came to me and said, mom, my daughter, I think I'm trans. I'd say, okay, you know, like you want to dress this way? You want me to call you? Whatever the heck you want me to address, fine. Explore it. I love you. I'm cool. Like do you as long as we're safe, but we're not changing your body until it's fully developed. I'm sorry. Conversation's over. Can't get a fucking tattoo. Exactly. Are you crazy? It's insane. Like, I, I, I'm, I, I just can't. It's, it's madness. It's madness to me. <laughs> yes, Julia, it's madness. Yes, it's madness. Perfect tagline. It's madness. Yeah. But you voted for this. Uh-huh. 10, 15 years ago, we was trying to warn you folks not to do this. It's going to push your envelope. You keep pushing. And now we're here. And now, now that you have a son and now you're having second thoughts, it's too late. It's too late. Now you want to fix something. Now you want to move out of California and what? Go to Texas and so you can vote Democrat? No. Yeah. 
It's too late. Fuck. You people already ruined it. You ruined it. And now we got this big problem here that we cannot put the toothpaste back in the tube. It's well out there. Pandora box is boom, wide open because of people like Julia Michaels and the, and the likes of her. Let's be honest. Those folks. Yeah. Love is love. And those evil Republicans, those evil conservative. We've been saying this from the beginning. No, but no, you don't want to fucking listen to us. And now all you celebrities, all you liberals out there are starting to say the same thing. What? Even. Dylan Mulvaney, whatever that person name, whatever this, this one here. Yeah. No. She's about to get canceled too. They got tired of her nonsense. They tired of her nonsense too. She done messed up Bud Light. Bud Light still have not recovered since then. And everything she touch, he touch, whatever you call it, turns to crap. And they tired of it. Now the left is eating their own. I love it. I love it. So everyone is finally canceling Dylan Mulvaney. Fucking finally. I have been trying to tell you guys about this person for the longest time, but whenever I say it, I get labeled as a certain word that I can't say on this app. Everyone is calling Dylan Mulvaney a massive hypocrite now that I know. People are finding it very suspicious that this woman right here has grown her entire account based off of promoting women's rights, saying the significance of women, how important women are for her, and of course, recognizing the struggles that women have to go through on a day-to-day -day basis. She's actually won, I swear, Woman of the Year for this. However, when it comes to speaking about the women in Palestine who are having to use tent scraps because their periods are coming, or the women in Congo who are aggressively and systematically getting graped, She's quiet. She's silent. It's crickets even. People are recognizing that it's women that got this woman to this place to begin with. But however, when it comes to addressing issues that affect women within the diaspora, she's conveniently quiet. Yeah. Mm. And these are the same people will walk around and in concern. How did we get here? How did we get here? How these evil Republicans got us over here? <laughs> what are our tax dollars are doing? You people in California, Los Angeles, do you know what your tax dollars are doing? L.A. City Council members Hugo Soto Martinez and Nithya Raman were on hand today to help remove the signs. They say the no cruising and no U-turn signs were put up in the 1990s to prevent people in the gay community from meeting up with other gay people. I was also surprised that these um, <clears throat> these U-turn signs were still uh, up. And at first, you know, they seem a little, um, oh, okay, it's just a no U-turn sign. But when you learn the history of it and you realize that these were used to profile gay people, it's so important that we have these removed. The L.A. City Council members say the signs were put up after the gay community began to grow and because there was a gay bar. There you go. Homophobic U-turn signs. <laughs> Did you see one of the guy name? His name was Maybe a Girl. <laughs> yep. So that's your priorities over there in California. Yeah. So again, I don't know why all these celebrities are starting to jump ship. You voted for this, especially if you are a. Let's be honest. You voted for this. I've been saying this from the beginning that most of our problems come from quite. Let's be honest, women. Yeah, all of most of our problems, most of our debt, all of this come from that side of the community, especially if they quite. No. Because you know, once the quite people start crying, quite women, when they start crying and carrying on, the 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 simp men come to their rescue. Black, white, it doesn't matter. Once they start crying about something, their hair is all over the place. You come to their rescue. Aww. And most of our problems, our social problems, come from the white women community. Let's be honest. Those no. folks. Mm-hmm. I said it. We're lesbians. We met each other 2,237 miles away. We're lesbians. Of course we you hold after two months. We're lesbians. We're Bluetooth synced. We're lesbians. At least one of us cries after every argument. We're lesbians. Of course we saved a German shepherd from the shelter. We're lesbians. Oh, my God. I can't even do it. I can't do it, you folks. I can't do it with you folks, man. I'm I'm done. I'm done for this segment. I'm done. 
If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor, hit the like, hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you quite women, let's be honest, get your ass off my lawn.